I'm extremely happy with this ambulance. Um, I'm confident in saying that it's the best ambulance on the road in the UK at the moment. Uh, the technology, the planning, the engineering that's gone into this vehicle is phenomenal. Uh, the amount of work that not only the road staff that had input, but the engineers, the electricians, everyone, it, it's, it's a work of art. It's better for the patients, it's roomier, it's more comfortable, uh, it's easy access for, for the casualty in and out of the back of the ambulance. And for the staff, uh, the lifting ha and handling issues have been eradicated. We feel a lot uh, safer, we feel that we don't have to lift anyone so much. So it's, it's best for patients and it's best for the staff. As a manager, um, I'm very happy indeed uh, to see these new ambulances in North Wales uh, because I compare them uh, to the ambulances that I first drove when I first started in, in the ambulance service over 30 years ago. Uh, huge uh, change, a uh, big difference. A lot of the equipment is on the outside. You just open a cupboard, grab your bag, whichever bag you need, uh, and you're at the patient's side, there's no need to run into the back of the ambulance, in and out, in and out, like the old days. Everything is, is in its place. The difference to staff, obviously, is to do with the equipment, how the equipment is stored, and what the equipment is going to be used for. It's not just there for patient care in, in the direct respect, uh, but it's there to help staff in terms of moving patients, lifting patients uh, and of course everything in its place and a place for everything. Uh, very comfortable really. Right then, now that we're inside the vehicle, again uh, seconds save lives and we've purposely put these cupboards at the back of the vehicle so that we're not travelling in and out into the back of the vehicle. You can just come in and grab what you want, like the maternity uh, pack is in here, we have our burns kit in here, um, things that we might need in a hurry and they're all in grab bags, just grab the bag and to the casualty side. So moving on along here we've got our clinical waste system and non-clinical waste so they both don't get mixed up and a nice little touch is we used cat flaps uh, to put the waste in so it's a, a non-return Moving on, we've got consumables here, plenty of storage space on this ambulance and every cupboard is marked up clearly so that everybody that's foreign to this vehicle can come in, know exactly where everything is. Again, that's going to be saving time. And what is particularly important to me as a paramedic is that when I've got a casualty that's critically ill, I would sit here, I've got my resuscitator to hand, I've got my suction unit to hand, everything that I need to save somebody's life I can reach from this chair. I don't have to get up, reach out, you know, in a moving vehicle which is dangerous to myself and other people that are travelling in the ambulance. Uh, up here as well I've got everything that I need and I can talk to the driver via an intercom if, uh, if need be. immensely proud um, when you see or compare with what used to be the case uh, I think this is a tremendous step forward uh, and, and I'm extremely pleased to see them uh, on the roads and not roads.